Welcome to Wednesday. I'm here in my hotel room. You can be creative anywhere. We entrepreneurs need to be creative on the go. So we've got two techniques today to choose from to get your creative juices flowing. One is mind mapping, which you might have done before. You might, you may or may not. And the other one is sticky note clustering. So come with me and I'll show you how to do them. So I just wanted to show you how to do mind mapping because it's much easier to show you than it is. I've, I've written a description about it in the playbook but it's really quick to show you so very quick video. I'm just in a hotel room so you can do this sort of stuff anywhere, work on the go. What I'd like you to do first of all is to write in the middle of the page, I've just picked up, sort of a, I'm at Rockcliffe Hall, a pad from the hotel room and I'm going to write in the middle my aspirations and that's my central theme. I'm going to think big. I'm going to think idea time, a global brand, why not? Yeah, so you're just putting things down. But I also want more balance in life. So I'm going to have work from home Fridays. So you can see that I'm just sort of going around whatever comes to mind. I'm going out and doing a bubble for each particular area. So if idea time is going to be a global brand, I've now my mind's flipped back. I want to do some social media, I want to do more videos, I've been invited on some podcasts. Other aspirations are in terms of some, some client consultancy objectives that I've got for myself, so that's really important. So all I'm doing, as you can see, is just, is just sort of popping out different things that are coming into my head. And you know, you might dry up, so maybe pick a different colour. Colour's really good, so using your hands, thinking with colour, just really sort of gets the creative juices going again. What's really important with creativity is when you think you're done, usually not. It's just your first wave of ideas coming out, okay? So they need to come out and then there'll be another load of stuff coming through once you've cleared your first raft of thinking. Okay, so Idea Time Global Brand. Actually one of the podcasts is in the USA and I've been doing loads of work in Gibraltar, which I love. So I really want to develop more customers in Gibraltar and target that market. In fact, what I need to do is have a very specific, it's really fun to play with colours, marketing campaign for more Gibraltar businesses because there are loads of gaming companies and lawyers and all sorts of great businesses out there that I would love to work with. Hopefully that gives you an idea of how to mind map, I've just done that really quickly, um, but you can build that up, make it as detailed as, as you can and really just empty your head, get all the thoughts out on paper really nice technique to use if you've not done it before. I thought I'd just demonstrate the sticky note clustering technique for you because it's much easier to see it and explain it than it is to give you written instructions. You've got written instructions in the playbook but this is just super quick to show you. So if you've decided to do this technique you need a small pack of post-it notes. I carry some, they go everywhere with me and then all you're doing is you're writing down your aspirations, making sure that you only write one thing on each post-it note. So start my own podcast. So that's going to go on one sticky note. Then another sticky note, which is be a guest on other podcasts. I'm going super quick, yeah? So just to get you the idea. Other things are I want to do more work in Gibraltar. I love Gibraltar. I've got a fab client out there. I've been doing some work with them over the last 12 months and it's just a fantastic place, fantastic community. I also want to do more in Dublin. Again, I've got customers there. I want to build Idea Time as an international brand, which is really important. I want to learn more and do more vlogging and video content. What's really important to me, I've, I've lectured at the University of York in innovation for the last seven or eight years, every Friday, and I've decided actually from now on Fridays are going to be uh, for me to work from home to create and write and produce all of this good content. Okay, so other things, I want more balance and I want to focus more on fitness and well-being. I could keep going, I'm just really showing you the key thing here. So then what you need to do Obviously do more, try and do as many as you can, just keep things flowing and I'll keep saying this to you throughout the programme, you know, when you feel like 
you've run out of ideas, you haven't. It's just a momentary pause and then just hang on because more things will come chugging through. Uh, we tend to empty the first things that are most obvious out of our heads and then more good stuff comes. And then what I want you to do, you don't have to have a big flip chart for this, you can just do this on, a, on an A4 piece of paper, is stick them down on a bigger piece of paper and start to sort them out into cluster, clusters of similar themes. So for instance, I've got balance, fitness and well-being, which is, I'm going to put with working from home on Friday. I've got building idea time as a national brand. Connected with that, I've got more in Dublin, uh, more in Gibraltar. I've got blogging there. I've got be a guest on another podcast and I've got start my own podcast. When you do this, you'll keep going and doing more and more. So you'll have quite a lot of themes. And then you just draw a circle. You can have a cluster of one, that's absolutely fine. So draw a circle around each one, making sure you don't get pen on the wall, and then give each one a theme and a title. Yeah. So I'm going to call that one Balance, I'm going to call that one International Marketing. This one is Blogging, it's connected with, all of these are interconnected actually, which is fine, and this one is Podcasting. Okay. So I hope that is a good example. You can do this on your own and you can also do it in groups or in teams as well. So in that case, everybody would do their own post-it notes and then you combine and cluster all the post-it notes together. It's a great way of getting everybody involved. So I hope you like that. Mm -hmm.